a seismic shift in North America's resource strategy is unfolding, right in Western Canada. A $1.6 billion critical minerals processing behemoth is rising in Alberta and British Columbia, with ambitions to reshape the continent's supply chain and lessen dependence on China. As the global race for clean energy heats up, Canada is making a massive play. The new facilities will process lithium, rare earth elements and other high-demand critical minerals, aiming to become a cornerstone of the North American battery and tech economy. Led by E3 Lithium, Fortune Minerals and Vital Metals, the initiative brings together private investors and government backing, including major funding from Ottawa's $1.5 billion Strategic Innovation Fund. The goal? build up domestic refining capacity for minerals crucial to electric vehicles, wind turbines, defence tech, and even smartphones. Until now, Canada has been a mining powerhouse but lacked the domestic infrastructure to process its minerals at scale. That's left a supply chain bottleneck and a geopolitical vulnerability, with China controlling over 80% of global critical mineral refining. With support from Natural Resources Canada and provincial leaders, Western Canada is stepping up, positioning itself as a processing superhub for not just Canadian ore, but potentially US feedstock as well. By 2026, facilities in Saskatchewan and Alberta are expected to be operational, with capacity to process tens of thousands of tonnes of battery-grade material annually. The move is expected to create over 1,000 jobs and trigger billions in downstream investments.